Welcome back everybody, Motoblade here. I have crashed. Are you all right? You have crashed. I have crashed. I crashed the Indian Chief Dark Horse. It wasn't bad, but this is a damage report and I'll show you guys what happened and what I need to do to fix it. So I'm really excited about my new moto vlogging setup. As you guys can see, I can talk to myself and wave at myself because I've got a second GoPro mounted on the bike now. I just threw it into my tech gripper. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but I just threw it in the tech gripper I use for my phone on the handlebars and I'm good to go. So I got Hero 5 on the helmet, Hero 4 on the bike. So we're gonna try some dual camera moto vlogs and see how it goes. Uh, if it works great, we'll keep it going. If not, yeah, we'll try something else. But I think this will be a pretty cool setup and I like having the addition of the second camera. I'm gonna try mounting it in some other uh, cool places elsewhere on the bike to try and get some perspectives, maybe down low near a wheel or something. Who knows? We'll have fun with it. So, two days ago, yeah, two days ago now, this is a Sunday, and uh, on Friday, I was riding over to my in-laws, and my in-laws live on this godforsaken steep hill, and I was heading up to the top of the hill to, to like, the cul-de-sac that's up there to turn around and uh, come back down and park on the street when I hit some gravel on the hill, and... I was leaned into a turn at that point, and it was just too much for the bike and the rear wheel, and I ended up, uh, well, I ended up going over on my side. I stayed on the bike the whole way down to try and protect it because I figured I wasn't going terribly fast. It was gonna hurt no matter what, so I just made the split second decision to stay with the bike and kind of put myself between it and the ground. And that may not have been the best idea. And if looking back, that was kind of stupid of me. But my thought at the moment was not my beautiful bike. So yeah, my thought was just protect the bike. And it paid off. Uh, there's no dents. Everything that needs to be fixed or touched up is just minimal. So it wasn't a bad wreck. Um, but I will get off up here and show you guys the damage. The worst part is I scratched my tank. Everything else is easily fixed, but I scratched the paint on my tank. And unfortunately, it wasn't just in a black area. It was right where the silver Indian head is, so that's going to take some work. Thankfully, there is a world-class bike painter locally here to me uh, that everyone has been recommending I go see and he will be able to fix it for me and get me looking like new. Everything else is, is negligible. Uh, when I went down, I had my hand fighting with it to try and keep it up as long as I could, but I had my hand on the left handlebar grip, and, uh, well, I got my hand kind of crushed between the bike and the ground, so my hand is still sore. It's hard to kind of use. Working the clutch is interesting here. But overall, I can, I can ride the bike. <laughs> my left arm and my like chest and, and back are kind of bruised up and beat up, but no blood. There, there's literally not a scratch on me, just a lot of bruising from where I kind of hit the ground. My helmet, I wasn't wearing this one, I was wearing uh, my other helmet, my Street and Steel Oakland Pit helmet. Uh, that has a couple of scratches on it from where my head uh, hit, hit the ground. I didn't hit the ground with it hard enough to warrant needing a new helmet or anything. My shoulder is what touched the ground, and when I was laying there, I kind of put my head over on the side, and I ended up scratching the paint. So that should be perfectly fine. Stupidly, I wasn't wearing a jacket. And if you guys have seen my to squid or not to squid video, you guys know that um, 
we had a discussion over there on what protective gear to wear. And I wasn't wearing a jacket, which was me just being a dumbass on my part. That being said, I'm not wearing one today either because it is just too stinking hot. I'm making the decision. It's stupid. You all can judge me as harshly as you want. It is just so stinking hot, guys. It's like 100 degrees right now with the heat index. And nope, just not happening. Not freaking happening. Anyway, all that being said, I'm okay even without wearing a jacket. My gloves really protected my hand. Um, these Icon gloves, which I'm going to be doing a review for you guys. And you can see the gloves are totally fine. Um, even with the impact going straight onto the knuckles with these things. And uh, I can't say enough good things about these gloves now. So I am going to pull over up here and show you guys kind of the damage report of what's been going on and what I need to have fixed. As you guys may have noticed already, I'm short a mirror. There's no mirror over here on the left-hand side. I got my right mirror, don't have a left one. Righty, no lefty. Righty, no lefty. Now the mirror is going to be an easy enough replacement because the mirror itself is actually fine. The mirror and the arm and the little nut that it screws on to the uh, mount with, that's all fine. What happened was uh, it cracked off of the mount which holds my clutch on. So basically this C-clamp right here next to my left handlebar controls goes around the back and it holds the clutch in place. And the clutch is fine uh, and the, the part of it that holds the clutch there is perfectly fine. What is not fine is the back part where the metal, like the aluminum screw holder that holds the mirror in place, that cracked off. And I've got that mirror in my saddlebag and I'll show that to you guys as well. Outside of that, the bike really just rolled up onto the left floorboard and that is what supported it from underneath. And I was kind of upside down on the hill with the bike on top of me and I got myself out very, very carefully so as not to scratch my bike or do any further damage. And thankfully my father-in-law was home and my awesome father-in-law was able to uh, come out and help me lift the bike back up because I could not lift it by myself on that hill with the angle being as steep as it was. Because the bike was basically laying facing downhill, tank downhill, wheels uphill on this big really steep uh, incline. Had it been on flat ground, I could have gotten it up, but I just couldn't get it past that point, especially um, with my arm the way it was feeling after landing on it. So enough of my heroic tales of, you know, laying down the bike and trying to save my baby. Let's show you guys the damage report. So as you guys can see from here, everything looks pretty normal. Everything seems to be okay. Uh, the only difference, really, that's noticeable is right here. The little piece of metal that was on top right here that this screwed into, um, that cracked off. This little clamp right here cost me maybe 30 bucks to replace, not a big deal at all. And uh, the part that really I'm the most upset about is right here, the scratch on my on my tank. Nothing dented, just uh, some scratches, and unfortunately they're a little bit deep. They go through the, the Indian decal there. So need a new decal, need someone to do some touch-up work there. And that should be good to go. Other than that, the bike fared amazingly well. Nothing else wrong. And uh, I ended up just trying to hold on right here and uh, put myself in between here at the bottom so I wouldn't get anything else scratched. And uh, floorboard really just kind of took it underneath the metal support is where it got the most damage. Outside of that, okay. And you never would have thought that when you're laying underneath the bike on the hill. You know, I thought there was going to be a lot more damage, but fared really well. So, tough bike. And uh, I'm very happy that the outcome wasn't any worse for me or the bike. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me with this short video. 
hope you guys enjoyed it I sure didn't enjoy having to make it uh, kind of kicking myself for not having my GoPro filming at the time when the crash happened but I am not going back to uh, do it again so let's hope it's just out of my system for now if you guys have liked this video, please hit the subscribe button. You guys have been fantastic with helping me get my subscriber count up. You know, this community has been amazing, and I appreciate every single one of you. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please hit that subscribe button. There will be a lot more great moto vlogs coming. I have a lot of awesome stuff planned for the channel for you guys. Uh, some stuff I've discussed, some stuff I haven't. Some I'm keeping a secret for you guys, but there will be plenty more to come, so please subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button, that tells me you guys like the video and you like what I do and you appreciate what I do here, and that really makes me feel good. Comment down below, talk to me, what you guys like, what you didn't like, and uh, if you got any uh, jokes or comments or anything about me uh, having my little spill on the bike, let me know. Until next time, y'all, please be careful out there. Ride safe, ride on, and I will catch all of you later. Deuces.